Welcome back to our channel. If you're looking to elevate your gaming experience without breaking the bank, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the best graphics cards under $500 to $600. Whether you're a casual gamer or dedicated enthusiast, these options will deliver outstanding performance and value. Let's get started. The AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT is a well-rounded GPU designed for high-performance 1440p gaming, offering solid 4K capabilities for more budget-conscious setups. Its 16GB of GDDR6 memory and 256-bit bus provide ample bandwidth for high-resolution textures and future gaming needs. The card's boost clock can reach up to 2,430MHz, ensuring smooth performance in demanding titles. It also supports modern features like DisplayPort 2.1, AV1 encoding, and improved ray tracing, positioning it as a versatile choice for gamers and media users alike. One downside of this model is its relatively high power consumption at 263 watts, which can demand better cooling solutions and a stronger power supply. Additionally, in creative workloads such as 3D rendering and video editing, it struggles to keep up with NVIDIA cards due to lack of CUDA core support. Its ray tracing performance, while improved, still lags behind NVIDIA's RTX series. Overall, the Radeon 7800 XT delivers excellent value for gaming, especially when compared to its NVIDIA counterparts. It is a great option for gamers who prioritize high frame rates at 1440p without breaking the bank. Find the link to this card on Amazon in the description below the video. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti 16 GB is a mid-range GPU that offers extra VRAM compared to its 8 GB sibling, making it better suited for memory-intensive tasks like video editing or AI workloads. It uses NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, which includes support for DLSS3 and ray tracing, allowing for smoother gameplay and enhanced visuals in compatible titles. The 16 GB of memory can benefit 1440p gaming, though the 128-bit memory bus and lower bandwidth can limit its effectiveness in 4K. On the downside, despite the increased VRAM, this model doesn't offer a significant performance improvement over the 8GB model in most gaming scenarios. The card also faces stiff competition from AMD's offerings, which often provide more performance for a similar price. Additionally, the 128-bit memory interface holds back its bandwidth, making it a less compelling choice for higher resolution gaming compared to similar priced alternatives. In conclusion, the GeForce 4060 Ti 16GB is a niche product, most useful for users needing extra VRAM for professional workloads rather than pure gaming performance. You can find a link to this card on Amazon in the description below the video. The AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT is a powerhouse GPU designed for high-end gaming, capable of excellent performance at 1440p and solid 4K gaming. It features 16GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a 256-bit memory bus, which provides ample bandwidth for demanding games and creative tasks. With its clock speeds boosted compared to the RX 6900 XT, this card handles games on ultra settings, even competing with Nvidia's RTX 3090 in some areas. The card also benefits from AMD's FSR technology, helping to improve frame rates and supported titles. However, this model comes with a high power consumption of 335 watts, requiring a robust power supply and cooling system. It also struggles in ray tracing compared to NVIDIA's RTX 30 series, and its performance and creative workloads lags behind NVIDIA cards due to a lack of CUDA core support. Overall, the Radeon 6950 XT is an excellent choice for gamers looking for top-tier performance, especially at 1440p. It's a great value for those who prioritize raw rasterization over ray tracing. You can find a link to this card on Amazon in the description below the video. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 is an excellent mid-range graphics card designed for gamers seeking efficient performance at 1440p and some 4K gaming. It offers 12GB of GDDR6X VRAM, which helps ensure smooth performance in memory-demanding games. The 4070 is built on NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, providing support for advanced features like DLSS3 and third-gen ray tracing cores, making it great for titles with ray tracing enabled. The card's low power consumption is another major advantage, especially for builds focused on efficiency. However, with its 192-bit memory bus, this model might not perform as strongly in 4K gaming or with very demanding textures compared to cards with a wider bus. Additionally, while it performs well in ray tracing, its performance lags behind the more expensive RTX 4070 Ti. It also faces stiff competition from AMD cards in terms of price to performance ratio. In summary, the GeForce RTX 4070 is a solid choice for those who want strong 1440p gaming without the high power draw or cost of higher tier cards. You can find a link to this card on Amazon in the description below the video. The AMD Radeon RX 7900 GRE is a mid-range graphics card built on the RDNA 3.0 architecture, offering strong performance in both 1440p and 4K gaming. It is positioned between the RX 7800 XT and the RX 7900 XT, delivering a good balance of price and power. With 16GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a 256-bit memory bus, it provides ample bandwidth for high-quality gaming and creative tasks. It also supports features like ray tracing, though performance in this area lags slightly behind NVIDIA's RTX 4070. 
Despite its impressive performance and rasterization, this model falls short in ray tracing heavy titles when compared to Nvidia's offerings, particularly the RTX 4070. However, it does excel in terms of raw power, often outperforming the RTX 4070 in traditional rasterized gaming scenarios. The card's lower clock speeds and memory bandwidth compared to the RX 7900 XT result in slightly less performance, but it still holds its own in most modern games. Overall, the RX 7900 GRE is a solid option for gamers seeking high-end performance at a more affordable price, especially for those who prioritize rasterized gaming over ray tracing. A link to this card is available in the description below the video for purchase. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super is a mid-tier GPU that improves upon the standard 4070 with a higher CUDA core count and better clock speeds, all while maintaining the same $599 price point. This card is tailored for 1440p gaming, offering strong performance with ray tracing and DLSS3, making it a solid choice for gamers who want a balance between high performance and cost efficiency. It's especially great for titles that leverage NVIDIA's AI-based upscaling. However, one of its drawbacks is the somewhat limited 12GB of VRAM and a 192-bit memory bus, which might fall short in more VRAM-hungry 4K games or future-proofing. The card also still requires a 16-pin power connector, which may complicate cable management unless you have a newer power supply. In conclusion, the RTX 4070 Super is a great option for high-end 1440p gaming with some 4K capabilities, delivering impressive performance for its price range. If you're in the market for a powerful yet affordable GPU, this is a compelling choice. Find the Amazon link to buy it in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear which graphics card you're considering. Until next time, keep gaming, and remember, goodbye isn't forever, it's just until our next adventure.